free, but there are other charges. By the time the job gets priced out, surprise, their sale price is more than Jamie's carpet shop price. Hey y'all, how's it going? Uh, I'm over here plating on this uh, big fish, as you can see. Uh, let me go around this way. Uh, working on this nice, that's uh, about 44 inch long. I believe it's a, uh, I don't know, it looks like a coho salmon. It's for my brother who uh, caught this fish quite a few years back. And uh, he asked me to restore a few of them. I know, I think you guys seen a, a few of the other ones I've done. Uh, I did a big northern pike not too long ago. and. Uh, Pretty avid fisherman, not to mention a great auto mechanic who uh, I've been fortunate enough to learn pretty much everything I know about automotive repair and engine rebuilding and transmission rebuilding and no, oh, pretty much A to Z <laughs> from him and from school, of course. But. Um, yeah, I'm throwing on a little bit of a, did some work on the fish, it had some deterioration going on. A couple of the fins were not looking too healthy, they were separated, so I put them back together with some resin and clamped them down for a few days and then uh, did a little light sanding so I don't remove any of the texture and basically sprayed it with a, uh, a uh, white uh, epoxy primer to kind of give it a real good uh, base. Now I'm uh, getting ready to shoot uh, my mid color which is going to be pretty much straight up uh, uh, Wicked Silver. The reason I chose the Wicked Silver is because it doesn't have you know metallic flakes or anything like metal flakes. It's, uh, it's got the perfect color where then I can do my fade to the lighter white almost cream color on the bottom with a little bit of a I guess you could say a real light pink highlight and then the top of the fish is going to turn more into a, a sapia probably going to use um, the wicked uh, detail sapia mixed in um, as you can see here it is I got a couple colors mixed up. You can see it's got the silver in it, but this is going to be my blending color as I work my way up. And then I'm going to airbrush, oh, probably a few hundred <laughs> dots that the fish originally had. So 
it's a fun project. Um, I like doing this kind of stuff. Um, you know, and uh, you know, it's what I do, I guess. But uh, that would be pretty much it for me blabbing. Like I said, I'm not really good at the uh, live feed, so I apologize for that. But I'm gonna pre-record this. I send my dogs out of here so they don't have to breathe much of the paint fumes, which uh, it's not really a concern because I am using water-based products. And um, as you can see, I got plenty of ventilation. I got my windows open, so I'm all good. So I guess with no further delay, I'm gonna get back to this and uh, gonna switch over to the high speed and the corny music. <laughs> So, again, I appreciate all your comments, and um, I love uh, your feedback on any of my products, or if you got any questions or inquiries, feel free to message me, let me know. Um, I guess I'll get back to work. All right, thank you.